In this video, we're going to talk about a feature of the dialog component in version 11 that allows you to embed other components inside the dialog component. So what you can see here is a dialog component with just a single uh, input control state and then a button. And then over here, we've embedded a grid component uh, inside the dialog. And uh, uh, what we're going to be discussing here is how I can uh, uh, execute methods on this grid component from the parent dialog uh, component. So uh, you can see here if I go there and type in say MA and then hit uh, filter grid, basically what we've done is we've executed a filter method on this grid from the parent dialog component. Uh, let's go there and type in California. And while this might look very simple on the surface, um, it's extraordinarily powerful and uh, uh, in the hands uh, of um, a uh, talented Alpha 5 developer is going to allow you to do some quite amazing things. So let's uh, go back and take a look at how this all happens. So first let's go back to design mode and then go to controls. And you can see here on my dialog controls I've got a static text that just is a comment that says this is a dialog component. I've got an input control called state. Then I have a button over there which is called uh, filter grid and then I have a frame uh, container and then over there I have an embedded grid and that was put by going that was uh, by going to other controls and then in the list of other controls is uh, embedded object and I can embed um, components, reports, A5W pages, static A5W, static pages, external pages and PDF documents so I can insert uh, or embed all, all of the same objects that I can embed into a page layout component or a tabbed UI component. And in fact, um, you can think of the dialog component here really as a superset of the page layout component. So um, when I embedded this um, uh, grid into the dialog, uh, you can see that I've given it an explicit um, alias name. So I've called it uh, EMB. GRID and it's important that I know what the uh, embedded grid alias is um, so that I can then execute methods on that embedded grid. So now basically let's sort of quickly go back and look at it working. So again I'll go there and type MA and then click this button and you can see we've now gone ahead and filtered this grid. So let's go now and look at the JavaScript behind that button over there. So I'll just go to that button and uh, if I look at the uh, on click event you can see I'm just calling a local function called set filter. So now let's go over to my JavaScript functions and here's my uh, set filter function. So the first thing that I'm doing in uh, set filter is I'm creating a local JavaScript variable called state where I'm just simply reading the value out of the state input control uh, on the dialog component. So now I've got this value state. Then I'm constructing another JavaScript variable called filter, uh, which is the actual filter that I would like to apply to the grid. I'd like to filter the grid on a field called bill underbar state underbar region. And, um, and I'd like to set bill, uh, filter it where bill under, bill under bar state under bar region equals this value state over here. And uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to put it in uh, single quotes. So basically there's my filter. And if I were to just go here now and do an alert on filter, I would see what this uh, filter looks like. So let's go there and type in say uh, New York and then press grid filter. So you can see that my filter looks like this. Bill state region equals and then in single quotes uh, New York. So now here's where it gets interesting. Um, in order to talk to this grid I need to know what the grid object um, name is and it turns out that um, uh, as you recall, we specifically gave this embedded grid an ID, an alias of EMB grid. So, um, and also the the embedded grid object exists inside the dialog um, uh, component, and it has this naming convention is uh, is being used. So, the dialog component, and then underbar embedded grid, and then underbar grid object. So instead of basically typing in all of that